Sorry, welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, we are a few minutes late. How are you doing? How is your week going on? I hope your week has been great. All right, today we are going to be looking at 10 recipes for osteoarthritis, okay? That's what we are going to be looking at. And we are giving away those recipes, okay? We are giving them away. The 10 recipes are going to be giving away to you today. So if you need the recipes, you're going to chat me on my WhatsApp number plus 2347035151642. And we're going to be sending the link for it to you right away, even as we are going on, okay? And today we're going to be showing you out of those 10 recipes, we're going to cook three for you. So let's share, 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 share. If you're live with me, just share so we can um, have you. We can show love. <laughs> okay, you need to show love, show love, show love, show love. By sharing, 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 share it on your stories, share it on your WhatsApp, share it on in any group where you belong to just share it so that people can join us this evening as we go live and cook three recipes that can help you if you're having osteoarthritis. We are also going to be giving away the 10 recipes to those when it's time we're going to ask you. Uh -huh, that you start chatting so that you can get your recipes down to your phone and you'll be able to practice it after here. So if you join me live this evening, you can bring it so I can welcome you to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every one of us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every one of us. You know, a lot, a lot of times people go through pains all over their body. They go through pains. You know, on their knees, pains on their knuckles, pains on their waist, lower back pain, you know, cervical pain like we treated on Monday. On Monday, we looked at cervical spondylosis, lumbar spondylosis. And you know, some people also have these pains in places where they cannot actually explain. So today, we're going to be cooking some of those foods that can help you. And if you've joined me live, okay, I would like you to greet me so I can welcome you to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every one of us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every one of us. So, usually, foods to avoid arthritis are foods that may cause inflammation. Foods that cause inflammation, like too much of carbohydrate. Greens. Foods that can help with your omega-3 fatty acids. Foods that can help reduce inflammation. Foods that can help build immunity. Foods that can help you have that your synovial fluid go right through your, you know, knuckles, your, your joints, okay? That will help build up all those fluids. So, hello, Grace. You're welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this evening's broadcast. So, today we are going to be making three recipes and as we make it i just run through no time to waste all right so i'm going to put my whatsapp number again on my screen for that um for the book for the link to the book so my whatsapp number my whatsapp number is plus two three four Seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two. That's my number. So if you want the the link, you can ask for the link and we'll send you the link. But we're making three recipes today. The first recipe will be the matcha green smoothie bowl. That matcha green smoothie bowl. Remember, I said you need vegetables. You need dark leafy green vegetables okay very very good for you it's a green like now when we talk about matcha we're going to also use our ugu ugu it's our green that we are using and um, in the kitchen with me today is grace grace can you show your face grace is the one doing all the cooking today i'll just sit and since grace is around let's take the best of her before she goes back to school so grace can you greet Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So we are using Ugo. We've already sliced our Ugo. That's the green we have, okay? Many people use, some people use lettuce, 
okay you can use lettuce you can use kale okay because these vegetables are rich in polyphenol called epigallocatechin okay or egcg which has a very good and powerful anti-inflammatory benefits ugu kale lettuce all those green dark leafy vegetables they have great anti-inflammatory effects and they are they are very very good for you so we're going to make the first one don't worry step two you're going to hear i'll just mention the second and the third the second will be scrambled eggs we're going to make scrambled eggs with some green and turmeric okay we're still going to use our green to show you you can have that for breakfast and you're really okay we're also going to oh this is the third are you sure is the first smoothies okay well in the book let me read what is in the book the one is three word one let me read what is in the book so in this book we have um matcha green smoo uh, smoothie bowls we have um um chai seed porridge okay we have chai seed here we have you have you also have chai seed porridge scramble egg with turmeric and we have um, um kale pineapple smoothie and we have kiona citrus salad and oatmeal pancakes we are going to make oatmeal pancakes today avocado salad okay we also and you can also have i'm talking about the 10 recipes in that book you have your akara a moi moi how to make it in a way that it has that whole bread that can help you it's in that book and also we have a saltless tasty beans which is also very very good for those with arthritis and then you have steamed tomatoes these are the things in that book you can the recipes on how to make it and the methods on how to make it you can actually um get that book and have and have the book with you all right but like i said today we're only going to be showing you three out of those 10 recipes we're going to be showing you three out of those 10 recipes today all right and the three we're going to show you today is the ogo green smoothie bowl or matcha green smoothie bowl or kale smoothie bowl smoothie bowl it depends on vegetables you have you will just put it there and we're also going to be showing you scrambled eggs with turmeric okay let me have the finished product and then we're also going to be showing you oatmeal pancake so we'll show you the three we are doing today hello welcome i've been bola abaji how are you okay so this is her scrambled egg that she has made with greens and then we're going to show you how to make this I'm going to show you how to make whole grain rolled oat pancake. You don't have to go on flour. You know that flour can, when you take flour, flour can is inflammatory. Okay, but when you go on oat grain, you just substitute your flour with oat grain, oat grain, whole rolled oat grain. Very good for you. And of course, the smoothie we are going to be showing you all right now. Okay, welcome, comfort, Makiwa. You're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you can chat me on my WhatsApp number plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two and ask for the link for the book and we're going to be giving you the book very soon. All right. So there are certain foods that can tickle or that can actually tackle osteoarthritis, make, make your bones strong, boost your tea, and following an anti-inflammatory meal plan will ensure that you have you know that tasty nutritious meal that can keep inflammation under control most of the things that cause arthritis pain our bodies are inflammation and an anti-inflammatory diet contains plenty of probiotic prebiotics fiber antioxidants omega-3 they are rich in vegetables whole fruit whole grain legumes and fatty fish okay and the most important between the diet um, of an osteoarthritis is where like the culprit, the biggest culprit of osteoarthritis is weight. When you're overweight, you're going to end up with arthritis. So it's better you handle your weight on time. And if you have obesity or overweight, it will increase the strain on your joint and the inflammation, which can actually cause the symptoms to become very, very strong and more. You have more of those flares, okay? There is actually a strong evidence between losing weight. And reducing the pain and improving your joint function and your mobility let's lose weight it's very very important that we do this okay if you're overweight losing just 10 percent of your weight can actually help you reduce that pain on, on your arthritis so it's not only just 
buy medicine, taking medicine, taking medicine, you need to reduce that weight of arthritis on you. Where is the tissue? Son? Let me just keep my face. So you need to try some of these 10 healthy diets that we are talking about today. smoothie bowl or macho green smoothie bowl but well, we are using ugu so like i said it's anti freeze and anti-inflammatory so for the ingredients let's go grace what are the ingredients that you need Okay, so can you show us on the camera? Remember, you have two cameras. So make sure as you're showing, you're showing on the apple. You have the camera also. Yes. Okay. This is the apple. And we have our ugu, our bananas, then our light torch. Let's not forget. So we have our ugu. We, we have our uh, apple. We have our light torch. Then we'll be doing some basic in that color by adding our blossom seed powder to the smooth. So just in the end. Are we hearing a seed now? Yeah. Okay. Then, now, so can you show us the ingredients again? So, these are the ingredients. Banana, two peel banana, two peel banana, ripe pineapple, yeah. quarter cup of ripe pineapple, yeah. three quarter cup of um, lightly light coconut milk, light ultra. So we're using our light ultra in place of coconut milk because our light ultra is um, healthier and better. All right, so go ahead. Now put in a slice for you. And our bananas. I'm putting in our bananas. Then our apple. You can use half apple, and you can also use full apple. But Go ahead and add your blossom tea powder. If it's actually, you can actually use green tea if you have anything. To, but of course, our blossom tea is the best. So I'll go ahead and put it in. I'm adding, I'm putting in one scoop of light ultra. One scoop of light 
Did you see? You can blend it twice. You're covering the camera and be talking. Have you put some water? <laughs> so she's blending, she's blending all the ingredients together. On the texture you like. If you like it creamy, I just add a little water. So it's all blended. Blend it a little more so it can get smoothy. Right, so can you see the smoothie going into the cup? Very, very delicious smoothie. Healthy smoothie. We are going to be tasting them later. So let's go over to the second meal. So the second meal we are making today, as she's getting ready, look, let her clear out. The second meal will be our scrambled egg with turmeric. Our scrambled Egg with turmeric and um, an excellent source of protein. And egg you contain vitamin D. Vitamin D can actually limit the process of inflammation due to its effects on the immune system. It also has um, people with rather than arthritis to reduce the inflammatory disease. It lowers, um, increases your um, lowered vitamin D. Adding turmeric to the scrambled egg will give that scrambled egg an extra anti-inflammatory boost. Turmeric, like we know, is rich in compound called curcumin, which is native and inflammatory conditions. So right now we're going over to make our scrambled egg so she can show us all these ingredients. So we have our pepper and onions. We have our onions. onions. And we have our turmeric. We have our turmeric powder. You can use fresh and um, grated turmeric. If you love fresh grated turmeric, you can use turmeric powder. That's what we're using today. All right. Then chai seed. We're also using chai seed. Chai seed. And also, we're adding in our greens, of course, our vegetables to the eggs. Mix it a balanced. So, let's get to it. First of all, you whisk two eggs in a bowl. Okay. 
can add a little bit of salt. You know, we don't use no salt as we do people use sea salt. salt. <laughs> Hey, Grace, tell us. <laughs> Grace is telling us, go and get your sea salt. Go and get you your sea get, salt. If you want to use the sea salt, just a little, a pinch. And a pinch of and sea salt. Pinch. That's that. So, then you can add in your, your turmeric powder. Just put in a little. And your chai seeds. I have here half teaspoon of chai seeds. So you can just put in your chai seeds and mix. We're beating our eggs. Then you put in your light or and just put in like a tablespoon of light. Oil. Then if you have coconut milk, you can use coconut milk. Then you So I'm using one light ultra. So we we'll go ahead and fry our onions and peppers. I use coconut oil instead. So it's time to fry, and we are using our coconut oil. You can use other healthy oils and have avocado oil, very good. If you have the high heat um, olive oil, you can also use high heat olive oil. So two teaspoons. Then this is my own quantity.
we are waiting for that to do, to be done. What we are going to do about the vegetable is to mix it into the oil after the pepper and the onions is done. Just mix it for a little while. You know, you can't allow your greens to to cook too much. You can just mix it for like or mix it into the pot for like 30 seconds and you're adding your eggs. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so well, we are frying. Add your vegetables. Remember, vegetables shouldn't fry for too long. None of those because you can actually eat them raw. So as we add our vegetable, add more finish the vegetable. So now you add in your So while we're waiting for the eggs to be done, we're going to the next. So we're moving on to the next. And last recipe for the day, allowing the egg to fry very well. So our last recipe for today's oatmeal pancakes. We know that generally oatmeal pancakes are healthier than the regular pancakes. And they are delicious also, packed with fiber, with protein. And they are very, very low in sugar. So for those who have diabetes or high um, sugar issue, this oat pancake is very good for them. It's rich in fiber called beta glucans. And beta glucans are very, very important prebiotic for our gut health. Okay? And they also help to reduce diabetic related inflammation and obesity. Remember that people who have arthritis, sometimes it's caused by diabetes, sometimes it's caused of, by some kind of also health and lifestyle issue so for our ingredients we will need egg one egg our light ultra one and a half scoop we will need yogurt yogurt is also very healthy we are using unsweetened yogurt you will need honey where is your honey and remember cold pressed honey is the best and forever honey is the best and then we're also using olive oil, one tablespoon olive oil, because olive oil, of course, you know, omega-3. We're also going to use vanilla and then oat, rolled oats, whole rolled oats that have already blended. You get your whole rolled oats. Where is the content of our whole oats? So oats. Oh, we can show them. This is our oats. Our oats that's blended. This, no, the other one. The other. Just leave it. We'll arrange that later. That one. Yes. So we have our rolled oats. That's why we use the old fashioned rolled oat. Healthy for you, and that's what you should try to get. I'm not selling it to. <laughs> I'm just showing you that, you know, that's one of the best you can have. And then you have your baking powder and cinnamon. Cinnamon is also very, very nutritious. And of course, for those of you who cannot eat without salt, a pinch of salt that you can have there. The egg is almost done. Where is the red mountain? For turning things, that plastic can, that's what you should rinse for her. That red, uh, her, rinse it and give her, let her use to. So if you need the free book, 10 recipes for arthritis, 
chat me on my WhatsApp number plus two three four seven zero three five one five five one six four two to get a free book and just say there. You are going to just say there when you chat me. Ten osteoarthritis recipes. Ten osteoarthritis recipes. I think your egg is done. Where are you putting it? Into the that white plate. Serrated edges there. So this is our egg, the finished product. Come on. Um. So now we are going to the final recipe and we have our pancakes. So first of all, in a separate bowl, you mix your wet ingredients. Remember your wet ingredients. First of all, your egg. Then you have your quarter cup of yogurt. I'm sweating the yogurt, please. Not the yogurt that they have. Put you guys inside it. This is good for our health. And we have two tablespoons of honey. Two tablespoons of flavor. Mm. She will need the non stick frying pan again. So let's ask our questions. I'm here to answer your questions. Let's ask our questions as we watch. We'll soon be running now. Good evening, Esther Samuel. You're welcome to this evening's broadcast. We are looking at 10 recipes for osteoarthritis. We've already mentioned them. And we are practicing how to cook three of them. And if you need the free book, you can chat me on my WhatsApp number now for your free book. Can we have a after? So remember again for pan your oatmeal pancake, the ingredients that she's putting in there. We have one egg, one quarter scoop of light ultra, quarter cup of yogurt, two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of olive oil, half teaspoon of vanilla, one cup. And then cups of oats, rolled oat flour. So that's our wet ingredients. So now she's mixing her wet ingredients. And her wet ingredients are yogurt, honey, olive oil, and what? And egg. So we go to the... So she wants to mix the dry ingredients now. So we have our one cup of light oats. Mm. Sorry. One cup of road oats. Here's our road oats. One cup. Mm. 
Then you put in one and a half tablespoon of powder. Yeah, you can just put a little, a little bit of baking powder. Baking powder, you're going to be adding one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and just a pinch of salt for those of you who take salt. Then we have our cinnamon, just a little. For the cinnamon, then a little salt if you eat or just a pinch of salt. Then now I'm going on to add my light salt. So dry ingredients are light ultra, oat flour, roll rolled oat flour, baking powder, a pinch of salt. So that's our dry ingredients. So you put wet ingredients together and then you put dry ingredients together before you mix all of them. Let me open. <laughs> Okay. So, right now, I'll mix this in. We're not seeing you slides in the way that you're seeing. Eh? You can even mix it. So. So she mix the dry ingredients and then she will pour the wet ingredients in the wet ingredients. So if you see that the chunk is very thick, you can just add in a little bit, little water to it, so that to make it okay. You will show us the texture. Yes. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the love. And for those who are appreciating what we are doing, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As we all know, pancakes are to your liking. If you like your pancake stick, you know, but if you like it more watchier, you can add more water to it. So as to give it your desired texture. So this is still a bit thick. This is still a bit thick. Just a little more. Okay. I think we're good to go. 
So this is my own texture. I always like my pancake stick. So, so this is my texture. Okay. So now we move on to the fry. Pan. So we want to fry. Do you have already fried one? Yes. Okay, so once you start frying, we will come up to just pour it and then end. So this is the finished product. So as she just starts frying, we are coming over to continue our finish. So she's putting her olive oil. Just a little, just to make the pan oil, not too much. Of course, you know when for portion control, your thumb should be your oil intake a day. So wait for the oil to be filled. I'll just add it. It will be perfect. Yeah. Okay. So adding. Okay, so that's how to make your oat pancakes. Thank you very much. Thank See you, next Grace. Week. <laughs> See you next week. Grace is coming your way again next week. So let me have spoon so I can do the tasting and then we call it a day. Thank you all for joining uh, joining us. So we have a and we're going to have in our oats pancake rolled oat pancake and we're going to be having some eggs and then I held this smoothie. Remember, this is almost like three meals in one. And I have the knife. So is the camera back to me? So we have our eggs. We have our rolled oat pancake. Rolled oat and coconut pancake. And we have our smoothie. So those are the things we have done today. They see in the table. I need a table knife, so I cut and eat together. So, so if you're having osteoarthritis, you need to make sure you eat food that are healthy for you. Make sure you have as much greens as you can and turmeric ginger in your food. A turmeric egg. One good thing you should do is that anytime you're eating any meal you're cooking, add turmeric to it. That's another secret. Any food you're cooking, add turmeric to it. So I have my oat pancake with some coconut. Really delicious. And this in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course our smoothie. Grace likes our smoothie pick. You can actually add a little more water. 
really delicious. Thank you all for joining us. So if you're going to try it, and put it there on the spine session for me. I will try these recipes. Whole road oat pancake with coconut, turmeric and green vegetable, egg, and of course your smoothie. You notice one thing that appeared all we have greens. And we have our whole old oats. See you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Come your way again in Aging with Grace. Thanks to Grace and the Aging with Grace team. Thanks to Favor. Thanks to my Victoria. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Love you all. Bye.